Hey darlings, I wanted to share something hopeful today. Well, hopeful and a little shady, but we'll get to that. So I'm old enough to remember the run up to the Iraq war in 2001, following 9-11. And it's real different right now because I've heard a lot of people say correctly that the way that the government is talking to us is exactly the same. The way they're trying to drum up support, the way that they are doing this like full throated, full court press against you know, supposedly H, but really in the end, the people of Palestine. But people aren't going for it. The marches, the solidarity, the boycotts, like you are seeing it. And now that we have the internet, you can actually see it. And the thing is that some people are just followers, some people will just go along and you're getting them to bring out what they actually think, right? So some people believe in the whole empire and all of the horrible shit that's going on and they are, they're standing with their chest and good. So we know who they are, but also everybody else who's maybe afraid to speak is now speaking and you can see it. And that kind of attention, that kind of voice, it builds on itself. People talk a lot of shit about echo chambers on the internet. And I want to say, like I always do, that echo chambers on the internet for certain points of view are necessary. An echo chamber is to make something louder. And what do we make louder? We make louder the voices that don't usually get to be heard, especially not on the mainstream news. That used to be what shaped everyone's opinion. And if you had another idea, nobody was ever going to hear you say it. There wasn't like, you know, leftist newspapers really that had wide publication. And so by the time that people realized something was up in, tw in 2001, it was too late. Well, it was 2002 when things started off, but you know what I mean. Things move so much faster now. Information moves so much faster now. And as much shit as we talk about the internet and we are all a little addicted to it, I will be the first to admit that. But now if you go on the internet, you can see just how much people aren't buying the bullshit this time. And it's fucking great. Speaking of propaganda, the talking point I'm hearing now is like, oh, well, why are you supporting these people? Because they wouldn't support you, blah, blah, blah. You're black, you're queer, you're a witch. Like they wouldn't like you. You wouldn't be able to live there. That's fine. My own country doesn't like me. Black people don't like me sometimes for the way that I present myself, whatever, whatever. Look, no one's a monolith and everybody deserves fucking freedom and self-determination. Full stop. There is nothing conditional about my support for people's ability not to have bombs fall on them. The way that I word it is anything about a person over which they have no control, right? That is a condition of their birth. That they have no say in, right? That is something that I will always try to protect them for, regardless of what they fucking think of me. Because it's not about me, babes. All right, it's not about me. Also, if everybody were free, people's opinions, people's beliefs would have no power behind them because we wouldn't be living in a bunch of places that had the power to oppress. That's the goal. Also, happy people don't oppress other people. People who are not being consistently propagandized by essentially evil states would not be oppressing other people and they would not have the protection of the state to do so. So you can think whatever you want to about me. I want you to be free so you'll leave me the fuck alone. Also, the idea that there are not queer LGBTQ people everywhere is nonsense, okay? Like one of the things I love to say is, look, straight people want to stop having queer people. Stop making us. Anyway, stay loud. Keep doing your thing because we are winning the narrative war. And it's not just the narrative war. It's because we're speaking the truth. People are dying. People are being killed right now. And we have to stay loud about it because it's happening on our time and on our dime. And we can fight back faster than we ever been able to before, literally in human history. The speed of information is so important. And while we have these platforms, let's fucking use them.